here we are. Now, if you like Jaguars and you like Land Rovers, you want to come here because this is such a special place. Now, there are three key pillars to Jaguar Land Rover Classic. It's restoration, it's continuation, and it's reborn. Now, strictly speaking, these three cars aren't rivals at all because there is a big difference in price. But we've brought the three of them together because, well, they are the premium EVs of the moment. You can turn your Wrangler from this to this. <laughs> it's not doing it, is it? How? Oh! <laughs> On top, you've got these two big screens in the centre and you've got a screen in front of you. I mean, it looks like something out of John Lewis's electrical department, doesn't it? All in all, it's very nice sitting here. Although it would be if I had better visibility. Although I can't really blame Hyundai for that. Ha ha! Out of the way, Carson! Carson, seriously. And then it's suitable only for a bachelor. It is said in the motor world, if you have one wedge, you're, you're, you're mad. If you have two, you're absolutely bonkers. Uh, so with 23, I'm obviously very certified. Yes, you need a straight jacket. Straight you? jacket, yeah. take me away now, as it were. <laughs> right, let's get the... The wheels rolling, uh, I mean, uh, anchors away. The Supra story came to an end in 2002, but amazingly, despite brand new sports cars being few and far between, the Toyota Supra is back. So we're early in the run, there's around 450 cars here in Hyde Park. The atmosphere here is electric. It's like nothing else. Um, I'm really excited. I'm very nervous as well because Fiat Cries Automobiles from Turin are here to support us on because, of course, it's 120 years of Fiat as well. And the latest fast forward for the people is this, the Focus ST. But what we want to know is, is this a proper fast forward and can it beat the Renault Megane RS and the Hyundai i30N. But it's a little bit boring like that, so I'm going to put it back into end mode. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Bang, 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 bang. Love it. I love this. Well, if you think that, you're in for a bit of a surprise because this car is absolutely fan bleeding tastic. Trust me. and he's just going all over my head. I've got to try and catch him up as quickly as possible. To find out, I'm taking the Velar on a 600 kilometer road trip from Alessund to Oslo on some of Norway's most challenging roads and beautiful countryside. It should be a good test of the Velar because, according to Land Rover, it's quite unlike any other Range Rover. It just reminds me of sort of when you get into your 30s and you're not quite as trim as you were in your 20s and you start to get that little sort of muffin top, don't you? It sort of splurges out over the top of your jeans. And that's what it looks like if you don't go for the sport pack. It's like the 205 GTI, isn't it? Now, it's not a pastiche, it's just a modern reinterpretation of that classic car. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's yet another new SUV for 2018 and I just can't muster much enthusiasm. But I have to because you're going to buy this car. And you've bought tons of X3s in the past. Even though the first generation car was cheaply made, you loved it. And whilst the second one was good to drive, it was also duller than cold semolina. But you lapped that up, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Clap right. 